there is a calling of God upon your life. Maybe by today, by 11 p.m., I will teach you about divine call. Why am I saying this? Before I drop this microphone, may you not die before your date of manifestation. Amen. And may you not die without becoming what God wants you to be. Amen. There are people that will make a way for Messiah in the wilderness. There are people that will come. Every prophet, everybody was born for a reason. A prophet of the time. I don't know the reason why you were born. That is the reason why you are born. You were not just born to have children and die. No. Many people have died without fulfilling their God-given dream and destiny. Everybody was, is not called to be a prophet. The same way everybody is not called to be a mechanic. Everybody is not called to be a teller. Everybody is not called to be a footballer. I don't know the area God has called you. The terrible thing is that most of us are in the wrong way. Maybe tomorrow I will lighten your eyes about it. And if you are in the wrong way, what I mean by wrong way, if you are selling Maggi, but your destiny is to sell tomato, you wouldn't do well in selling Maggi. Before I drop this microphone tonight, may God direct you to the area of your calling. Amen. Many of us who are in the wrong place now, may your eyes be open to know the area God wants you to be. Amen. That is why somebody is so intelligent, but it's not doing well. Because most of the time, we are in a way we are not supposed to be. If you read the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, 10, 11 following, the Bible says, I alone knows the plan I have for you. The plan I have for you. The plan God has for you is different from the one I have for me. That is why you must not live your life because this person is living life. Is life. Oh, America is selling motor pass. And uh, uh, he's doing well and you want to join him in the motor pass without knowing is that the area the Lord called me. If you go there, you will, be, you will not prosper because that is not where you belong. It's paining me that many are about to die without even knowing the direction. From this night, you, the, the Lord will not allow you to rest until he puts you to where you are meant to be. Amen. And whenever you are connected to your line, your land, you will see you will be happy. Many are not in their land. Many are in off land. May this night, the Lord said to him, before I gave you life, I have selected you to be a prophet. There are people he have selected to be a teacher, a lecturer. Which one have you selected you to be? Many have died. And the enemy hijacked this gift. The enemy hijacked this calling. The enemy hijacked. Tomorrow we teach you properly about divine calling. May you never be what God never wants you to be. Amen. May you be whom he wants you to be. Amen. That is why that is terrible problem today in marriage because people marry today based on uh, I like her. She have a big bum bum. She have a very big breast. She walk in bank. She oh she will help me as a banker. Look at that girl. She met first class in mathematics. She met a first class in a computer science. She will help me. When you don't even consider do we met to be together. She may be a good person and you may be a good man and the two of you are even born again but spiritually two of you are not connected to be husband and wife if two of you marry it will not be long two of you will get tired of that marriage even though she's a nice girl and you're a nice boy but spiritually there is no connectivity the spiritual control the physical don't ever do anything without asking God his direction and that is why you see our brother say, hey, hey, that girl will help me. You know, I have a hospital. I have a hospital. Let me marry her as a medical doctor. Oh, oh she will. You see the mentality, twisted mentality that we are getting married because of. That is why after five years, divorce. 
divorce. Because you move with your mind. You move with your mind, not with the mind of God. The Bible says, uh, go and read how Isaac find a wife. How Isaac find a wife. The servant of Abraham prayed, Lord, any girl that will come to here to fetch water, and I will tell her to give me water. And she will give me. And she will also say, let me give for your animal. May she be the one you have selected for my master's son. That was how Isaac married. May she be the one you have selected. That means God is the one that selects. Most of you selected a husband by yourself. Without God direction. That's why today two of you are no longer married. That is why within six months, the love have died. That is why within one year, those things that are threatening you is no longer threatening you. That is why today you don't see the bomb again. You don't see the press again. Because you move with your sight. The Bible says, oh, we live by faith, not by sight. What is your calling? And the most of men supposed to, that are supposed to do well today, why you cannot do? Anytime you marry a wrong, not, she may not be a wrong person, but she is not connected to you. So anytime you're living with her, it will not be long. Your business can go down. Because even though she's a nice person, but she is somebody's wife. That's why you see some lady with vision. When they married, the vision died. Because some of this lady married somebody's husband. Oh. I know one, ba- one man that came to see me from, a, from abroad. I told him, nah, if I tell you this, will you do it? He said, Daddy, who will not listen to you? You prophesy and it come to pass. I told him to live abroad. It was a difficult situation. It was a very difficult decision to take. He's already with European passport. He's already with passport. I said, leave. You have been there for years. The Lord is telling me that you are not meant to be there. It wasn't easy for him to take, but he obeyed me. Within eight months, he could build house in his village. He could build house. Not just one house. He could have a car. What he has not been able to achieve for over 11 years in abroad, he achieved within eight months. Most That you have passport does not mean God wants you to be in abroad. That you have green card. Does not mean God wants you to be in America. A wise man and a wise woman, a wise person will always ask the direction of God. Most of you today are living a life without knowing where you are heading to. You don't have vision. And if you don't have vision, you can never have mission. It is your vision that will let them manifest to your vision. To your mission. No vision, no mission. So most people that don't have vision today, they don't have mission. How old are you now? What have you achieved? You need to have vision. But you forget, don't forget that the Bible says that the step of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. The step of the righteous. Oh, I'm a case here one can The step of the Mzo Puku, Mzo Puku, Onye, Ezibo Madu. No, chineke na hazie. Chineke na kwazie. Oh, chineke na kwaziozo. The step of the righteous is ordered by the Lord. I don't know if the Lord ordered your marriage. Is the Lord ordered the step of your marriage? Is the Lord ordered your step by being in Europe? Make sure you put God first in what you are doing and you will be happy. Don't worry, I'm going to teach you better but divine call. And I pray that through these messages and prayer, you will be redirected to where you're meant to be. Anytime you are where you're meant to be, you will be happy. But not in the marriage aspect. If you have married and wedded, it's not after this marriage now you go and tell your husband, you see, we are not meant to be one. Find your way. Uh -uh. That is not what I'm telling you. So far you have married and married. Don't go. 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 Don't go.